Another important design decision in Typeform is the actual typeface or the font that you're going to use. I'll pull up a Typeform here that uses the colors I made in our last section. But now I'm going to come back to design. And it will show us the first page of what we have. And then I want to come to this second menu on the left under fonts, and we're going to pick a web font from the library. You have a pretty good range of choices. It's not enormous, but it's enough to give you some real separation in what you have. Now the default one, at least in this particular template that I've been using is the Source Sans Pro. It's a nice, clean, good font. And it's also very common. And so it's going to display well on a lot of machines. But you can get different choices. Now I'm going to show you you have some kind of extreme choices. We can use lobster. And now obviously it didn't change my logo up here because that's an image that I've imported, but it changes a lot of the rest of it. Doesn't change this part. It's going to help a little bit to see what this is like on some of the other pages. This is a live form here. So I'm going to hit start. You know, and then we can see that there's my name. And I can put in an email address. Okay, and I can put in a different date for year than you know what I'd put in previously. Okay, so now you see what this looks like. And personally, I find a script font like this to be a little distracting. It's a totally personal choice. And really think about who your audience is and what you think is going to work best with them. I tend to use a serif font. So for instance, Open Sans doesn't have serifs, but Volcorn does. And there are some other big choices, you know, if you want a really pronounced one, use bangers. And now you look like you're in a comic book, and that might be the look that you're trying to get. Courier, um, I actually use courier sometimes, but right here, I feel it comes across as a little too artificial. My personal choice in these, and I spend a fair amount of time working on these, is Laura down here. It's a serif font, it's pretty clean, tends to have nice separation between the letters. It's the one that I use. But again, this is a totally personal choice. Now the thing is, you only get to choose one, you don't have the option of choosing a different font for the headers and for the questions and for the answers. It's one for everything that you control. And so pick something that you think is going to work pretty universally. And when you've got what you want, come to apply to Typeform. Click that and now it'll go on the whole thing. Great. And you can now see what it would look like on the other questions. Let me back up just a little bit. And that's the look that I personally wanted. Again, explore some of your options and see what works best for your own purposes and in terms of communicating effectively with your own audience.